what to eat? The correct answer, try everything. When it comes to Greek food and desserts, it's like, you know, missing out on the elephant in the center of the room. We're talking about one of the best cuisines and most tasty cuisines in the world. Even if you go for the street food, the famous souvlaki, the pies, the different kind of mezes, little plates we put in the center of the table so we can share. And of course, if you want to taste more, you have to get to the main courses like pasticcio, moussaka, stuffed vegetables, different kind of stews using meat, vegetables or fish. And of course, this is a country with a lot of sea all around it. So the seafood everywhere you go, it's going to be really fresh and extraordinary. You can combine it with ouzo, Cretan raki, only in Crete, you can enjoy the grappa of the island, local beers, local varieties of wines, or local sodas. Give it a try, you're going to be uh, amazed, I think. And when it comes to desserts, here we have the famous ones, the Greek ones, milk pie, galactobureko, as you can see here, deep fried dows with honey, thyme honey, lukumades, baklava, kantaifi, orange or apple pies that you can combine with vanilla ice cream, and of course a Greek iced coffee or a Greek hot coffee. You can taste both. So let's go to the practical tips, meets and full pass. When to visit? Let's face it, summer is nice, extraordinary vibe, nice waters, ideal for island hopping using the ferry system, long daylight hours, it's 9 at night and it's still sunny, uh, frequent flights, arts and music festivals, but the cons are the many, many different crowds, uh, especially the major destinations like the Acropolis, the Cyclades are packed with many people, the heat, extraordinary heat in the middle of the day especially, and of course the high prices. Another idea is to come in the winter time. You might not think of Greece as a winter destination, but it's well worth a visit because we have a lot of sunny days, the weather is never bad in the country, the major attractions are open and completely empty of tourists. You're going to have private tours everywhere you go. Good snow if you're into skiing in the ski resorts we saw especially in the Greek mainland. It's a very good spot to also celebrate your Christmas vacation, many different decorations and local customs in the country, and very good deals when it comes to prices. In the islands, though, you're going to find only the locals in the winter time. I don't know if that's so bad. Uh, you're going to be just you and us. Limited hotels in the city centers, especially. All the resorts are closed, so keep that also in mind. Limited transport routes. So there is a ferry daily taking you to the big islands. But when it comes to flights, there are not as many in the summertime. And of course, if you're not a winter uh, swimmer, forget it. It's freezing cold to go into the sea. Now, when it comes to my favorite uh, time of the year to visit the country, I would say spring or fall, March to May or late September, November. This is the best period when it comes to everything. Crowds, uh, also very good prices, pleasant weather. The hottest seas are now in September, October, November. Actually, yesterday I, got, I went to the beach in Crete. It was extraordinary. Uh, so I don't find any cons, and also you can celebrate the Greek Orthodox Easter, see how we do it in the country. It's a big celebration, or the Greek Independence Day on the 25th of March. Now, when it comes to practical tips, let's see. Uh, things that uh, many times our guests are asking me. Uh, do, we do we have Wi-Fi? Everywhere you go, hotels, restaurants, tavernas, even in the Suvlaki area, for street food, if you ask for the Wi-Fi password, it's free everywhere. In the major cities, we also have the open, free access Wi-Fi from the municipalities. So no problem when it comes to Wi-Fi. If you have to work during your vacation or simply you need to post things on Instagram or Facebook, there is Wi-Fi everywhere you go. When it comes to credit cards, you can use them everywhere. Everybody has a POS machine, machine by law. But forget about American Express, not only in Greece, but all over Europe. People don't work here because of the commission of the bank. So keep that in mind 
the American Express as a card is going to bring you problems because not many people accept it in the transactions. Always it's a good idea to keep cash with you, especially if you're looking to tip people, drivers, guides, waiters in tavernas. Never add the tip on the credit card because simply in the country it doesn't get to the hands of the people working. Always keep some cash in euros so you can give it to the person you need to give it to. Asking for the bill. It's a big protocol. You have to ask for the bill. They're going to bring you fruit or dessert It's on the house. It's a way of the people say thank you. So you have to ask for the bill again. Uh, just keep that in mind, especially if you're in a hurry. One of the best protocols of the country is that we never rush the people to the Greek restaurants. And of course, bargaining, a big no. You can ask for a better price, especially if you're willing to pay in cash, but we don't have the etiquette of the Turkish people that have bargaining in their tradition. We don't bargain in the country. Just ask once, can you give me a better price? And that's it. You're going to get a better price and that's the end of the story. So, full pass, things to avoid when you're in the country. One, wave with an open hand like this. No, this is called buja. It's the equivalent of the finger finger in the United States. If you want to say the number five, we're five people for a table or five beers, use this side of your hand. Cover up when you go to Orthodox monasteries, especially in Meteora. Bring some shawl, wear a long skirt, no cleavage, or they're going to give you there something to cover up with. Be careful when you talk about areas of the country, like I went to Greece and Crete. I went to Greece and Macedonia, simply because all the areas I showed you today are all part of the country. Crete is Greece, Macedonia is Greece, Cycladis is Greece, uh, because many people make this mistake. Also, we are part of the European Union. The standards in the tourism infrastructure are extremely high with many five-star resorts. So many people ask me, do I need to bring toilet paper with me or toothpaste? Of course not. We have very high-end hotels, as you're going to see when you arrive here. And just for the fun of it, don't wear socks with sandals. Doesn't show very good taste. So to finish today's lecture, let's debunk a few myths and stereotypes. We don't smash plates since the 1980s. It's obsolete. So in only very touristic locations are going to do it. And it's very fake. It's only for the tourists. We don't do it anymore. We don't do siestas. We're one of the most hardworking people in the European Union with more than 40 hours per week. So only older people that don't work anymore, pensioners or little kids, nap in the middle of the day. Siestas for us is an unknown thing. We don't kiss each other. We only kiss our friends and our family. So don't be afraid that once you get off the airport, the local taxi driver is going to kiss you. There's no chance. A good professional handshake will do it. And of course, many of the things that you saw in my big fat Greek wedding are actually true. I cannot deny it. But we don't use Windex on everything. Keep that also in mind. We don't have Windex in Greece. So let me tell you that the best thing that you're going to take from the country is not only the sun, the extraordinary waters, the amazing landscapes, the uh, tasty food or uh, the many different historical sites that are extremely important to the Western civilization, the most important thing is your connection with the locals. We are the synonymous of hospitality for a simple reason. According to Homer in the Iliad, the gods visit us disguised as strangers. So every time somebody comes to our country, we have to give our best so they can feel really welcome, like they're home and they made very good friends after they left. That's why we're going to treat you almost equally as gods if you come to the country. Mm -hmm.